Welcome to my channel. This video explains how to add a configurable parameter to an IP using Xilinx Vivado tool. A new project is created with 8 bit up down counter as a module using Verilog HTL. This is the Xilinx HDL program of a up down counter. To make the parameter to configurable, use hash parameter and the parameter is a width which is equal to 8. This is the change which you have to make so that the parameter is a configurable or changeable. This width has to change write the width to width minus 1. Now it is again a 7 bit sorry 0 to 7 which is a, again a 8 bit save the design go to the tools to create a new ip create and package new ip click on next Package your current project. Click on next. This is the location where the IP is placed. Next, finish. So the vendor is a xilinx.com. I am the user. The name of the IP is which I have created is counter22.v and it is available as counter 22 underscore v1 underscore 0 to anyone as a ip then click on and if you want you can change the categories to which it belongs it may belong to any of this you can select one of it like counter is available so you can set it, click on OK. It is compatible with all the families or if you want, you can add some more. Add family ex explicitly and file groups. It has standard as well as advanced synthesis simulation files and cut customization parameter Observe that you have a width which is customized. You have the inputs and outputs. Observe the GUI. Right now the width is 8. If I change to 4, now this is called configurable parameter. Now if I change the width to 16, it is changing. I'll keep the default and then click on package IP. Once it is done, we get a successful message. Click OK. The design is completed. Now I have to verify the IP. For that, click on create block design. Keep the default name or you can change it. It opens a canvas for the design. Add IP. Search for counter that we have created. 
this is the IP which we have created. Just copy this. Right now, I have two counters placed with the common signals. Let me right click and make this as external. Make it as clock because they are common. Reset and move. Change the properties. Select this, click on external properties, make it as a clock. Delete it. Zero or reset and move. Make this as external. Change the output name to Y1 and this one to Y2. I want to have a 4 bit counter on the top and this one make it external and this one to 2 bit counter Make it as external and change the output name to Y2. Once the design is done, click on regenerate layout. Validate the design. Validation successful. Once this is done, go to the sources. This is a block design. Convert that into Verilog. Right click, select the block design. Right click, create. HDL wrapper. Click OK. Block design will be converted into very low. Now the design is converted into very low and it is set, it will be set to top, top level. And if you want, you can see what it has. So these are the inputs and outputs. Now I want to test the design. So just click on as usual run simulation for behavioral. We have a waveform window here with clock, mode, reset, Y1 output with 4 bit and Y2 output with 2 bit. Set the clock to 1, 0 and period as 100 nanoseconds. Set the reset mode to 1 by force constant, click OK, just run for 1000 nanoseconds, for 1000 nanoseconds the output is 0, let me change the color of this, for 1, for reset high the count is zero for both the outputs. Now 
you change the mode to 1 by using force constant make it as 1 and change the reset to 0 now run for 1000 nanoseconds again another 1000 nanoseconds from here you can count the see the counter increment right click change it to analog to see how it is incrementing it is linearly incrementing up to maximum of 15 0 to 15 because it is a 4 bit counter here it is a 2 bit counter similarly you can change the waveform to analog here you can see it is counting from 0 1 it is 0 1 up to 3 and falling again Now change the mode to 0 by using the force constant and rerun the simulation. Observe the change. it is down counting in this way you can verify the counter 